Confidence Builder for Young Learners. Flyers 2 by Jenny Dooley. Copyright Express Publishing. All rights reserved. Hello, this is Skills Builder for Young Learners, Flyers 2, Unit 4. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, Dad, here's a photo my teacher took while we were in the theatre at school. It looks like you were having fun. Are all these children in your school? Yes. The boy who's jumping off the stage is William. He looks very excited. He was. He loves acting. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Look at that boy. The one sitting at the piano? Yes, that's Frank. He's really good at it. Is he? Yes, he's playing something for his friend to sing. Who's that girl in the middle of the stage? The one in the butterfly costume? No, not her. The one who's reading something. Oh, that's Holly. We're best friends. That's nice. Yes, we like watching films together. Do you know Betty, who lives in the next street? Is she in the photo too? Yes, she's brushing her hair. Oh, I see. And I like her spotted dress. Yes, it's pretty. She loves it. Is the girl who's cutting out something in your class? No, but the girl behind her is. Really? What's her name? Helen. Look at her face. She's going to be a cat. Can you see the girl who's shouting? Yes, I can. She looks angry. Yes, she does. That's Sarah. Her sister has taken her chocolate. Oh, no! It's okay. She bought her some more. Now, listen to part one again. Look at that boy. The one sitting at the piano? Yes, that's Frank. He's really good at it. Is he? Yes. He's playing something for his friend to sing. Who's that girl in the middle of the stage? The one in the butterfly costume? No, not her. The one who's reading something. Oh, that's Holly. We're best friends. That's nice. Yes, we like watching films together. Do you know Betty, who lives in the next street? Is she in the photo too? Yes, she's brushing her hair. Oh, I see. And I like her spotted dress. Yes, it's pretty. She loves it. Is the girl who's cutting out something in your class? No, but the girl behind her is. Really? What's her name? Helen. Look at her face. She's going to be a cat. Can you see the girl who's shouting? Yes, I can. She looks angry. Yes, she does. That's Sarah. Her sister has taken her chocolate. Oh, no! It's okay. She bought her some more. That is the end of part one. Part 2. 
listen and look. There is one example. David, do you want to go camping this weekend? Okay, Dad. That sounds good. My friend Tom camped in a forest next to a river last weekend. Can we go there? Sure, that sounds good. Great. There's a mountain 20 minutes away, so we can go climbing there too. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. So, what's this forest called? It's Swinley Forest. And how do you spell that? I want to search it on the internet. S W I N L E Y. Tom said it's really beautiful. Okay, I found some information about it. It looks lovely. What animals can we see in the forest? I hope there aren't any bears. Don't worry, it's really safe there. The website says that it's famous for its butterflies. What will we take with us? Will I bring my laptop? No, we don't need that. But we need to get the tent from the basement. That's really important. Do you want to leave on Friday evening, Dad? Well, we could leave on Saturday morning, but your idea is better. Then we can spend more time there. Is there a special place for camping in the forest, or can we camp anywhere? I'm not sure. Perhaps we should call someone about that. Look, there's a number on the website. It's three seven two four five nine zero. Okay, I'll call now and find out. Now listen to part two again. So, what's this forest called? It's Swinley Forest. And how do you spell that? I want to search it on the internet. S W I N L E Y. Tom said it's really beautiful. Okay, I found some information about it. It looks lovely. What animals can we see in the forest? I hope there aren't any bears. Don't worry, it's really safe there. The website says that it's famous for its butterflies. What will we take with us? Will I bring my laptop? No, we don't need that. But we need to get the tent from the basement. That's really important. Do you want to leave on Friday evening, Dad? Well, we could leave on Saturday morning, but your idea is better. Then we can spend more time there. Is there a special place for camping in the forest, or can we camp anywhere? I'm not sure. Perhaps we should call someone about that. Look, there's a number on the website. It's three seven two four five nine zero. Okay, I'll call now and find out. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Where did Oliver see each of these things? All right, Oliver. Let's see the photos you took last week. Where did you see this motorbike? While I was walking past the bank. It's very old. It's very difficult to find one of these now. You're right. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What's this? A police helicopter flying over the streets? Yes, I think they were searching for something. We were going over Gold Bridge in Dad's car when suddenly we heard it flying above us. What happened next? I don't know. We had to go. Oh, there's a circus behind the fire engine in this photo. When did you take it? Last Sunday in the afternoon. When I went there, I saw it next to the big tent. The firefighters were very friendly, and let me take their photo. How about this photo here? Well, I didn't actually see one of these flying, but I took this during my visit to the museum. I would love to travel by spaceship into space one day. Perhaps you should be an astronaut. 
That would be nice. I bought this two months ago. I helped my uncle in his toy shop and saved up money for a year. It was quite expensive. I took this photo after I rode it to the zoo. It's a racing bicycle. Be very careful on it. Why did you take a photo of this ambulance? That day there was a storm. I was standing opposite the post office in the heavy rain when the driver saw me and he stopped to let me in. That's where I took this photo. After, he gave me a lift to school. You were lucky. Now, listen to part three again. What's this? A police helicopter flying over the streets? Yes. I think they were searching for something. We were going over Gold Bridge in Dad's car when suddenly we heard it flying above us. What happened next? I don't know. We had to go. Oh, there's a circus behind the fire engine in this photo. When did you take it? Last Sunday in the afternoon. When I went there, I saw it next to the big tent. The firefighters were very friendly and let me take their photo. How about this photo here? Well, I didn't actually see one of these flying, but I took this during my visit to the museum. I would love to travel by spaceship into space one day. Perhaps you should be an astronaut. That would be nice. I bought this two months ago. I helped my uncle in his toy shop and saved up money for a year. It was quite expensive. I took this photo after I rode it to the zoo. It's a racing bicycle. Be very careful on it. Why did you take a photo of this ambulance? That day there was a storm. I was standing opposite the post office in the heavy rain when the driver saw me and he stopped to let me in. That's where I took this photo. After, he gave me a lift to school. You were lucky. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What are Richard and his sister going to have for breakfast? Is there anything in the fridge for breakfast, Richard? I'm so hungry. Yes, it's full. I went to the supermarket yesterday. I would love some yogurt with jam. How about milk with cereal? I know. We'll make strawberry pancakes. Great idea. I haven't had them for a long time. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Who cooked yesterday? So, will you help me prepare a special meal for tonight? Are you going to make something with chicken? No, Mum cooked chicken last night. I'll make a delicious pizza. Great, but I thought Dad wanted to cook tonight. Well, pizza is his favourite, so I think he'll be pleased. It'll be a surprise. Two, what do they need for the pizza? Do we need milk and sugar? Some people use these, but the only thing I need is a little salt and water. And flour, of course. Let me look in the fridge and see what else we can put on our pizza. Don't forget the cheese. Of course, we can't make pizza without it. Three, what will Richard put on it? Dad likes eggs on his pizza, but I'll make a vegetable one. How about a large cheese and tomato pizza? No, I want something more unusual and special. What about peppers and onions? OK, and what else? I know. I'll also put some olives. I tried one like that in London last August. It was excellent. 4. 
How long will it take to cook the pizza? How long will it take to cook? An hour and a half? No, it usually takes only around 45 minutes. But our oven is quite old, so it might take a little longer. So, about an hour? Yes, I think 60 minutes sounds right. We don't want to burn it. Let's start then. 5. Which activity is the most interesting for Richard? Are we going to watch the quiz show on TV after dinner? I'm not sure I would like that. Let's play some chess then. No, that sounds a little boring. All right, what would you like to do? There's a pop music concert on. We could watch that. Now, listen to part four again. One. Who cooked yesterday? So, will you help me prepare a special meal for tonight? Are you going to make something with chicken? No, Mum cooked chicken last night. I'll make a delicious pizza. Great! But I thought Dad wanted to cook tonight. Well, pizza is his favourite, so I think he'll be pleased. It'll be a surprise. 2. What do they need for the pizza? Do we need milk and sugar? Some people use these, but the only thing I need is a little salt and water. And flour, of course. Let me look in the fridge and see what else we can put on our pizza. Don't forget the cheese. Of course, we can't make pizza without it. 3. What will Richard put on it? Dad likes eggs on his pizza, but I'll make a vegetable one. How about a large cheese and tomato pizza? No, I want something more unusual and special. What about peppers and onions? OK, and what else? I know. I'll also put some olives. I tried one like that in London last August. It was excellent. 4. How long will it take to cook the pizza? How long will it take to cook? An hour and a half? No, it usually takes only around 45 minutes. But our oven is quite old, so it might take a little longer. So, about an hour? Yes, I think 60 minutes sounds right. We don't want to burn it. Let's start then. 5. Which activity is the most interesting for Richard? Are we going to watch the quiz show on TV after dinner? I'm not sure I would like that. Let's play some chess then. No, that sounds a little boring. All right, what would you like to do? There's a pop music concert on. We could watch that. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Look at this picture. It's an office. My mum works in an office like this. Oh, that's nice. Would you like to colour it? Sure. There's a woman who's sitting down. Can I colour her telephone? All right. Make it red. Fine. Can you see the red telephone? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. What else would you like me to colour? How about a magazine? You could colour one of those. Which one? The one next to the plant near the window? Yes, please. OK. Can I make it grey? Yes, that's fine. Use that colour. Two. I'd like you to write something too, please. OK. I hope it's easy. Don't worry. Write the woman's name at the front of the desk for me. OK.
okay. What is it? Let's call her Miss Spring, like the time of year. That's a strange name. Okay. Three. Can I do some more colouring? I like doing that. Of course. The man on the left of the picture has got a lot of papers. Do you want me to colour them then? Only the envelope, nothing else. Make it blue. Yes, OK. I can do that. Four. I'd like you to write something else now. There's an office project board. We need a name for it. OK, that's a good idea. There's a space at the top. Can you see it? It's above the pictures. All right. We'll call it June Project. That's what month it is. OK, great. I'll write that now. Thank you. Five. And perhaps you'd like to colour one of the cushions before we finish. The striped one on the floor? No. Colour the spotted one on the chair, please. What colour? You've got a purple pencil, I think. Use that one. OK. That's it. I finished. That's great. Now, listen to part five again. One. What else would you like me to colour? How about a magazine? You could colour one of those. Which one? The one next to the plant near the window? Yes, please. OK. Can I make it grey? Yes, that's fine. Use that colour. Two. I'd like you to write something too, please. OK. I hope it's easy. Don't worry. Write the woman's name at the front of the desk for me. OK. What is it? Let's call her Miss Spring, like the time of year. That's a strange name. OK. Three. Can I do some more colouring? I like doing that. Of course. The man on the left of the picture has got a lot of papers. Do you want me to colour them then? Only the envelope, nothing else. Make it blue. Yes, OK. I can do that. Four. I'd like you to write something else now. There's an office project board. We need a name for it. OK, that's a good idea. There's a space at the top. Can you see it? It's above the pictures. All right. We'll call it June Project. That's what month it is. OK, great. I'll write that now. Thank you. Five. And perhaps you'd like to colour one of the cushions before we finish. The striped one on the floor? No, colour the spotted one on the chair, please. What colour? You've got a purple pencil, I think. Use that one. OK, that's it. I finished. That's great.
That is the end of Flyers 2, Unit 4.